baseline, get something good, good or good enough, so we can collect data. And then from there, that's really gonna open up the problems that you're gonna solve as a designer. It's hard to know a disruption is coming until it's here. With the fact that the AI has evolved to a point where it is now much more likely that uh, Siri will understand what you're saying, then now you believe that the design of the mobile phone is evolving because of the use of voice as an interaction between the machine and the end user. What I'm experiencing more is that, so in addition to expanding the design library, it's also kind of bringing that level of kind of assistance to kind of at scale. And so you're able to do a lot more things and experiment with a lot more things than you were able to before. With those services, I don't think so. Uh, you generally, when you interact with those, even though they've come a long way within the last few years, you still kind of hit that ceiling pretty close where it's, there's a lot it doesn't understand. In general, if you're trying to have follow-up questions or statements, those usually aren't still understood super, super well. So I feel like it's at the stage right now where it is providing some level of convenience, and this is both whether you're talking about uh, a, on your phone or with a, a dedicated smart speaker, it's providing a baseline level of convenience. But more than that, it's, I think it, at this stage, it's really at that data collection process where Amazon, Google, Apple, they're really just looking to collect as much data as possible. So I don't think they're necessarily solving any huge disruptive problems. It's really some interesting conveniences, some, some, and it's also providing a certain degree of novelty, but really they're kind of collecting the model or collecting the data that they'll need to feed the models to do the next thing. But I think ultimately what they're going to use with this voice data are things that we aren't necessarily going to see or necessarily going to see coming. It's hard to know a disruption is coming until it's here. What do you think are the challenges as a designer to think of the fact that the machine doesn't work really perfectly every time? There, there's two parts to that. The one is I don't think it's necessarily supposed to work super, super well. It's just supposed to work enough so you can get some value to get, so you can get to the next step. Like I said, I think a lot of these are meant for, or Amazon cares about it because it's all data collection. And so it needs to provide a, provide a baseline level of convenience. So as a designer, you don't, you go into this knowing, all right, I don't need to make the next tr completely transformative technology. We're just in the phase of, of the product life cycle right now where we're trying to make sure that we get enough data and so we just need to provide a baseline level of convenience. So with that, you're just trying to look at some minor problems out there and see if you can solve them. And I think what's really gonna, what's what's more exciting about that is once they hit that peak, so hit that level of, of data, then that really opens up the world of what they can do with those. And I think this is analogous to Google in their captchas provide asking customers and users to identify street signs and road signals and stuff like that, where, it's providing a baseline level of value to the people implementing CAPTCHAs and that it lets you try and figure out who's a robot and who's not. But really, from a design standpoint, this is just, I need to do the baseline thing, but ultimately this is to feed data for a different model or a model that will do something more targeted and more specific. So I think our the voice assistant technology, smart speaker technology, is kind of at that level right now where you have phones are just so accessible, it's very inexpensive to put this kind of technology in all those phones to collect data. And in the smart speaker, we, with the explosion of smart products, this provides a baseline interface to that and with some minor convenience stuff like in the classic Amazon example, order me uh, more toilet paper. Uh, and it'll just do that. E easy thing to understand, integrates with Amazon, go ahead. But more than that, it's just collecting voice data that they'll use for a more targeted specific purpose that really kind of expands the, the type of problems or opportunities that you, that you can solve for. So it's kind of like baseline, get something good, good or good enough so you can collect data. And then from there, that's really gonna open up the problems that you're gonna solve as a designer.